Hi everybody, it's Dr. Sam. I've been receiving a lot of questions about cataracts and the three big questions today are, when is it time to do cataract surgery? What is the best lens to put in your eye? And what can you do post-surgically to improve your eye health? Well, according to the World Health Organization, about 42% of all blindness is due to cataracts. In 2010, there was a research study published in Investigative Ophthalmology, and researchers discovered a microcirculation system that exists in the lens of the eye. And this particular system creates ions that pushes uh, free radicals out of the eye through water flow. And extracellularly, the water flow that comes into the lens of the eye actually brings more nutrients. So this is pretty cool. And it's one of the reasons why I recommend things like MSM eye drops, Cineraria eye drops, making sure you're getting foods that contain glutathione, and eating an anti-inflammatory, mostly plant-based diet, rainbow of fruits and vegetables. So you're getting a lot of antioxidants, so you can push those free radicals out of the lens of the eye. Now let's say that your lens is not getting better or you have advanced cataracts. Usually the rule of thumb when you get cataract surgery is that your visual acuity is 2040 or worse or the cataract is affecting your daily routine. And this is the time when you get cataract surgery. Now what happens is they take your original lens out of the eye and they put in an artificial lens as an implant. Now you have several choices here. Number one, you can just get a regular lens uh, that corrects you for distance. You can get a lens that corrects you for astigmatism. It's called a toric lens. But I don't recommend this toric lens unless you're over one diopter of astigmatism. So you really have to negotiate this with your surgeon. The third type of lens is called a multifocal lens. This is a bifocal uh, lens that's an implant. And number four, there's a lens called a crystal lens, and this is correcting you for distance and the intermediate distance. Overall, what I recommend is getting both eyes corrected for distance and then just using reading glasses uh, for near. Whenever you start using multifocal lenses or the crystal lens, it can become very confusing for the brain, and I tend to stay away from those more complicated optical systems. The other system I don't recommend is something called monovision, where you're correcting one eye for distance and one eye for near. This splits your eyes, and it's very confusing for the brain. It's very disorienting, and I highly, highly recommend staying away from this. Now, what are some things you can do after cataract surgery? Well, definitely, I recommend using my MSM eye drops. They're perfectly safe to use uh, after you've gotten your you know, approval from the the surgeon that you're out of the clear and there's no infections or things like that. So using the MSM eye drops four to six times a day would be totally awesome. Number two, I would recommend that you do my eye clarity eye exercise program. So you know when you have any kind of surgery they always recommend physical therapy so it helps you integrate what you've done with the surgery. And this is a perfect example where you do my eye clarity, eye exercise program for cataracts, it will help you integrate the new implant into your eye-brain connection. It also improves your eye lymph, your eye circulation, and it reduces visual stress. Number three, I would make sure you're getting blue blocking glasses that you wear for any digital time, so you protect your eyes from the damaging blue light Many of the intraocular lenses these days do not have the blue blocking tint in it, and so you're more susceptible to developing macular degeneration if you don't protect your eyes from the blue light. So blue blocking lenses are very important. If you're out in the sun a lot, make sure you wear some sunglasses that have ultraviolet protection. However, it's important that you get 30 minutes of natural sunlight every day. I would do that when the sun is low in the sky because light is a food and it balances our endocrine system, our nervous system, and our visual system. In terms of diet, I would continue eat to eat an anti-inflammatory 
uh, mostly plant-based diet, making sure you're getting your carotenoids, your antioxidants. This is very important. Making sure you're getting omega-3 fatty acids as well. This is very important for your eye brain health. So if you do these things, you'll sail right through cataract surgery and you'll get the best of both worlds. You'll get your eyesight bat back and you'll be able to preserve it for a lifetime. So that's my message for today. Thank you so much for tuning in. And until next time, take good care.